What's going on, y'all? Thanks for checking in to Callie's Take. You know what to do. Hit that like, subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell just so you can get the newest and the bonus content first. But hey, let's just go ahead and jump right in. Looks like the Lakers are trying to bring in a championship head coach to replace Frank Vogel this offseason. I mean, it's definitely seems to be the Lakers focal point to make a change in the coaching staff. So they must believe that that's going to be the end all be all for their situation, because I'm not sure if they'll be able to move off from Westbrook. Uh, LeBron's definitely still staying, I believe. And uh, I'm not sure if they're able to trade Anthony Davis or not, depending on the value of him and which other teams think if there is a possible trade to be made, which I don't think there will be. But if it is, I mean, um, that might be a problem as well, even if they were able to try to go that route in the offseason as well, because how much value does Anthony Davis have with all the injuries that he seems to consistently, um, you know, keep having? You know, it, it, it becomes a question after a while. Why why does another team want another team's problem? You see what I'm saying? So um, that definitely could be a huge situation as well. We'll see how it pans out, you know, and everything like that. But um, I definitely wouldn't be surprised if they're not able to move Anthony Davis either. Um, so I think that's the reason why the Lakers more so now that their season is over and nothing to really look forward to going forward until next season comes around. Um, they're looking to make a move at the head coach position right away because they think that can actually, you know, make uh, some difference. And, you know, reports are going around saying, especially on Sports Illustrated, there's uh, at least at least one or two reports uh, speaking about Nick Nurse, the head coach for the Toronto Raptors, you know, going after him in the offseason, you know, and um, I'll say this much, you know, if the Lakers uh, found a way to get him, you know, um, I definitely think that would be you know, uh, huge for them. Because, I mean, Nick Nurse, I believe he's a very underrated coach. Um, I believe he's a very good coach. I believe he's a very good X's and O's coach. He definitely understands the game from a different perspective, especially with him being in the uh, G League. I think he was a G League coach champion, I believe, also, if I'm not mistaken. But he was in the G League as a coach. So, you know, he understands, you know, what it takes for hard work and getting guys to understand his methodology in regards to his system that, you know, can allow them to work well with one another. And he creates a good environment. We saw that with the Toronto Raptors, you know, he really kept the environment solid, even though he was a rookie head coach, basically, at the time. But he made adjustments when he needed to. And you can remember in the playoffs, even though Kawhi Leonard was going crazy that whole playoffs, there were times where they were down in the series, you know, 3-2 or something like that against the Bucks. They were down 2-0, I think. Uh, they were down 3-2 against Philly, and he made some great adjustments, you know, whenever, whenever it was needed. And, um, you know, I feel like, you know, some of the adjustments that he made with the lineups and certain things like that, I feel like he's a better coach than what a lot of people give him credit for. And, um, you know, he, he, he coached his ass off that uh, whole playoffs, just like Kawhi Leonard played his ass off that whole playoffs. So, I mean, they really were a good combination. So um, if you pair him with another great player like a Kawhi Leonard or, you know, something like that, then, you know, then, I mean, the team can definitely definitely be better because like I said he, he seems to get an understanding out of his players unlike a lot of other coaches can maybe maybe with the likes of a few like uh, Eric Spolstra Ty Lu, you know people like that so um, he's a championship coach as well so he's definitely bringing championship experience and not too far removed from the championship as well you know um, so he definitely is you know not too far off from that either so I mean could that make the Lakers a little bit better of course it can you know it definitely can help but you know, I'm not sure how much better it can make the Lakers. It might make them better as in making the play in tournament next season. But I don't know if it'll make them better as in being a solidified, you know, playoff spot owner. You see what I'm saying? Going into the playoffs, like, oh, they're, they're the fifth seed or third seed or something like that. I'm not sure if it makes them that much better. But I mean, you know. We have to see how it goes. First, they have to find a way to acquire him. And then on top of that, even in acquire him, they have to get on the same page. And health is going to be a huge issue for the, the Lakers going forward because Anthony Davis, you know, um, 
I don't know if he's going to be injury less any anytime soon. I think he's just an injury prone guy. I think that's pretty much always going to be his career. It's been his career throughout this point, you know, and uh, since he's been in the NBA. So it doesn't it wouldn't surprise me if he continued to be uh, injury prone. I hope not. But I mean, for, for what we see, it definitely wouldn't surprise us if he was. And and um, of course, LeBron is getting older. His age is going to show at some point, you know what I'm saying? And then on top of that, like I said, Russell Westbrook's the guy stuck in the middle once again. Can you get what you can you can you basically get what you got him for? Can you get him to play at the level that you expected him to? That's very very um, unrealistic to look at at this point because Russell Westbrook really um, just watching him this year. I don't feel like he has the first step as he used to or use it as much as he used to when he was on OKC. Um, I still feel like he has a, a, some juice left in him, though. But I don't know if Russell Westbrook is really the the answer to their problems because I just don't think he fits. And like I said, he's just not he doesn't space the floor enough for them. So unless they're going to make some dynamic changes or something like that, that might be a problem there still. And all this is hypothetical, you know, pending on the fact of whether they get Nick Nurse or not, because there's no guarantee they're going to get Nick Nurse. But um, like I said, uh, they're definitely looking to move on from Frank Vogel. We do know that. That's that's definitely something that they're looking into and that might be passed down from LeBron as well you know in regards to that maybe maybe LeBron goes to the front office and say that we need better coaching and that's the reason why they're looking in that direction who knows but at the same time we know they are looking to uh, move the uh, coaching position and go another direction. And Nick Nurse is a, a headliner right now that they're actually targeting. So if they're able to pull that off, I would say it would upgrade them some. I think Nick Nurse is a good coach, as I said. He will have a big task on his hands being in L.A., the forefront of L.A. with LeBron James and uh, two other uh, top 75 players and, you know, the rest of that roster. However, he feels like he can construct it and make them uh, work in, you know, his favor if he was able to you know if the Lakers were able to get him you know um I definitely think they would make the playing tournament or at least with Nick Nurse because I think he's a better coach than uh Frank Vogel to me what I saw him do with the Toronto Raptors even though they had Kawhi Leonard they just had one superstar they didn't have two or three superstars and he found a way to make it work even when the Raptors were down in the series against the Bucks, and they were actually you know down against Philly you know what I'm saying so him making adjustments and things like that I see he's good at those things so that would be good for the Lakers if they were able to you know get somebody like him but it's uh, far-fetched until it becomes reality and um, you know right now for the Lakers, like I said, it's really just an off season for them, even though there's, you know, it's, it's, they've mentally been in the off season the last week or so, you know, so, um, it's really, you know, bad to not see them in the playing tournament, you know, because, you know, it's, it's, it's just better to see the Lakers in the, in the, uh, playoffs, of course, cause they're just, you know, such a, you know, a big name team as always, but, um, it's just not that case this year, you know, and in regards to how fans look at it, LeBron, AD, Russ, they, they, they let you down and that's just the way it is. They let Lakers nation, Lakers nation down and, um, you know, it's no other way around it. No, no more excuses for the Lakers. You know, they can't make no more excuses. The NBA analysts can't make no more excuses ever because they're eliminated from playoff contention so all the excuses are gone so now it's just an off season they got to figure things out and they got to figure them out fast because LeBron is aging Anthony Davis is still injury prone Russ is going to be Russ and the rest of the uh group is aging as well and um this this roster really just doesn't look as promising as it did last off season coming into this season so we'll see how the Lakers pan out we'll see if they're able to pull off a head coach to get a head coach like Nick Nurse after possibly whenever they decide um, or if they feel like they want to let go Frank Vogel, we'll see if they can um, go after a coach like Nick Nurse, which I think, you know, if they feel like they can't get Nick Nurse or a coach of his caliber or better, they probably might actually end up keeping Frankie V if they don't feel like they have a good opportunity of getting him. So, but we'll see how it all pans out. But as of right now, it's um, wasted season. Uh, very disappointing and very disappointing for NBA fans, the NBA world, you know, especially because, uh, like I said, the Lakers are a big name. But right now, they're the most embarrassing name in the in the uh, sport because they're the biggest name that we've seen with so much talent on that team to not even at least make a playing tournament. So very, very uh, piss poor basketball and very, very uh, horrid season for the Lakers. And um, we'll see what happens with them going forward. But hey, that's my take on everything. Leave any comments in the comment section as always. And hey, Callie out.
Thank uh-huh.